us to watch these videos. I want you to open your mind, and I want you to relax, and let it just penetrate. Recognize them, ooze them all, that's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Look, everybody's trying to dance quick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Do I need to give y'all a minute? 
to write this down? Huh? I'm, listen, it's a lot of juicy nuggets, and we're going to tell y'all a whole lot today. But here's the beautiful thing about what it is that we do. We can only, we only have a little bit of time, right? And we can only give you so much. <laughs> and hopefully, you came here empty because we came here so full. And we will absolutely feed you all from our fullness. But we have a limited amount of time, and we can only give you so much. But there's going to be lots of opportunities to learn a lot more. Okay? Right, right? All right, right. So let me tell you a story. As a father-daughter researcher, I do a lot of interviewing. I talk to a lot of women. <clears throat> do you want me? Do you need me to the, the, wait a second? Bring the sound just a little. Bit. Okay. I don't want our um, audience at home to miss any of the juicy goodness. I don't want these ladies who are coming in. Give them a big right, right. Woo! You all are in the right place at the right time. Um, you didn't miss a whole lot. We really just talked about our goal and our focus for today is to talk about vision and how we see ourselves and how we visualize our life can be made manifest. And the very thing that stops that is how we think. And what creates how we think are paradigms. And ladies, I would suggest that you write that down if you don't <clears throat> know that concept already. Paradigms. Paradigms is a collection of thoughts, beliefs, habits, and attitudes that control how you behave and the results you get in your life. And I said to y'all before, 99.9% .9 of them were handed down to you from, by somebody else. So I wanted to share a story, if we're all ready to hear it. As a father daughter researcher, <clears throat> I talk to a lot of women. And one that comes to mind, you know, in particular, that I like to share Oh, this beautiful young lady. She's a chemist. I mean, doing successful things, great things. She's a beautiful young lady. And when I talked to her about her relationship with her father, and I sort of tried to get people to kind of step back a few steps to when they were really small, remembering their father. And she talks about how he made pancakes for her in the morning, and he put bowls in her heads. I mean, like, how many daddies do that, right? She had beautiful memories of her and her daddy when she was a little girl. So she was essentially a daddy's little girl. We all know about that, right? Okay. But then life kicked in. Mom and dad separated. And she went her way. And daddy went his. And mama moved in with TT and grandma and cousins. And she moved in with everybody. She's telling me to bring my voice up, okay? <laughs> Should I, do I need to come up here a little bit? Specifically, somebody said, tell Aunt Karen to speak up.
thoughts and attitudes penetrate what we call her what? Her paradigm. So now let's fast forward. The successful little chemist that I told you about, the cute little tiny thing <laughs> running around doing amazing things at the university, could absolutely never get the one thing she wanted. The one thing she thought she wanted was marriage. A successful marriage. And after we talked a little bit about how she thought about herself and what she thought about men, and when she was with them, what are some of the things that happened when they would disappoint her? Or if you say, baby, I'll be there at 6 o'clock, but you don't show up to 7 o'clock. What do you think triggered in her head? He ain't gonna show up. He ain't no good. All men are dogs. All men are dogs. Now, how many of y'all in this room know all men are not dogs? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right, right. We got the biggest man right here. Right. We got the biggest right. man over here. And my brother in law who just walked off is super amazing. That's <laughs> right. So, that's reality. But what happens for us is our paradigms, those things that mom and Titi and our aunties and our environment, our cousins tell us, they just become what we think are our truths, what we hold on to as our truths. So that, we all get that, right? What we call those are limiting beliefs. All these beliefs limit you from enjoying your limitless life. I'm going to say that again. All of these negative beliefs, we call them limiting beliefs. They control your results. <clears throat> they show up and they say things like, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. There's never enough time. Well, time is infinite, infinite. <laughs> there is always enough time. Well, those are those things that show up in our head that do what? Control how we think, how we behave, and the results we get. Things are good enough just the way they are. Don't even change. I'm all right. I live in poverty. Poverty's fun. And so we don't allow our champion to step out and become who we want to be, who we should be, who we were designed to be because of limiting beliefs. But here's what I want for you today. I really want you to escape this danger. I so desperately want you to escape the danger of these limiting beliefs. And I know.